The hippocampus in the brain is necessary for forming memories. Many cells in the hippocampus, called place cells, have spatially selective activity. In any given environment, each cell is active only in one location. So as a rat runs along a track, different hippocampal place cells are active at different locations, forming a sequence. When the rat stops at the end of the track, place cells are activated all together in short bursts of about 100 to 200 milliseconds long. These bursts are actually sequences in which places along the track are replayed in order, but speeded up 20-fold. During a single stopping period, multiple replay sequences can occur. They tend to start with the cells coding for the current position of the rat at the track end. But individual replay events can take two different forms. Reverse replays depict the sequence of places the rat has just run through in reverse order. Forward replays depict the sequence of places the rat is about to run through after he's turned around and run the other way. We can tell the difference between these two because place cells are selective for direction as well as place. So reverse and forward replays recruit different cells. Although reverse replay was the form of awake replay discovered first, it has been hard to understand because rats do not usually run backwards. However, reverse replay is an excellent way to learn about the relationship between the places along a route and the reward at the end of the route. So we tested whether changes in reward would affect replay and reverse replay in particular. We designed two experiments in which reward was either increased or decreased at one end of the track. The overall rate of replays was increased or decreased correspondingly, as was the rate of an associated event in the local field potential, called the sharp wave ripple. However, when we examined the direction of replay, we found that while reverse replays were increased or decreased by the manipulation of reward, forward replays were unaffected. Our data also suggest that relative amount of reward on the track is more important than absolute amount. And changes in reward were more important than absolute magnitude. Both these characteristics are also found in the responses of dopamine neurons to reward, suggesting a possible mechanism in the triggering and selection of hippocampal replay. Our results show that reverse and forward replay respond differently to reward, and thus may have different functions. Reverse replay may help to learn the association between places and reward. Forward replay may help retrieve learned associations to guide decision making.